This video is on the Integrating Essential Skills category related to scientific notation. And scientific notation is a topic that you've probably seen in other classes in addition to math classes. If you've taken a chemistry class or some kind of other science class, you've probably talked about scientific notation and gone over how to put numbers in scientific notation. So you may be pretty familiar with it, but this will be a good review. In previous ACT questions, we've seen scientific notation been used in terms of asked to put a number in scientific notation or or vice versa. Also to do calculations with numbers in scientific notation. Sometimes you may even find answer choices that are in scientific notation. So this will be a good review for you to be able to do those kind of problems. When we're talking about scientific notation, this is a method of writing numbers in terms of a number and or a decimal multiplied by a power of 10. And it's usually when we have really big numbers with lots of digits or really small numbers. So it's a way of writing those numbers so that uh, it's in a little bit more compact form. So here's a couple of examples. This is a really big number. Let's see, that's the number 2,345,000,000. So and notice that there are six zeros in that. Sometimes when we're writing all those zeros, it's very easy to leave a zero out and that changes what the number is. So scientific notation helps us to kind of cap that a little bit. And so we would rewrite that as 2.345 times 10 to the ninth power. And we'll talk about a little bit about how to get that exponent on that power of 10. Then also, like we said, we could have really small numbers where you have zeros after the decimal before we reach a number. And so that's equivalent to 1.24 times 10 to the neg negative 7. I'll tell you how I really keep up with scientific notation in terms of is my exponent positive or negative. When I have a positive exponent like that, this example of 10 to the 9th, that's when we're talking about a really big number. A positive exponent I associate with a big number. The 10 to the minus 7 is a really small number, so I associate my negative exponent with a small number. Now let's talk about how we can convert numbers to scientific notation. So the standard, and again you may have seen this in a science class, is to move the decimal between the first two non-zero digits that you encounter when you're reading from left to right. So just like when we read, we're reading a book from left to right, the first two non-zero digits is where we, where we want to move the decimal point. If you have to move the decimal point to the left, the exponent on the power of 10 should be to the positive number of decimal moves. Now this is where it gets a little, am I moving left or right? And sometimes I have to think about, and this is where it comes into the thing of, I'm using a positive exponent when I have a really big number. So I've had to move the decimal to the left. In turn, if you have to move the decimal to the right, meaning that you have a really small number, then the exponent on the power of 10 is going to be negative based on the number of moves that you've made for that decimal point. The other way when we're going in the opposite direction to go from scientific notation back to basic number form, we're going to move the decimal the number of positions based on the exponent in that power of 10. That's how we got the exponent. It's based on the number of moves. So again, a negative exponent which means a really small number, we're going to move the decimal point to the left. Positive exponent, which is a really big number, we're going to move to the right. Now take a look at this ACT type example. Pause the video and we'll come back and work it together. So we're asking which of the following is this decimal number in scientific notation. So we have quite a few zeros after the decimal point. It's a small number, so that's going to be my first clue, is I'm going to be looking for a negative exponent because that's a decimal point. It's less than 1. So I can already eliminate choices D and E. But how many places do we need to move that decimal point? And as you can tell in choices A through C, all of them have that first value the same, the 5.72. The only difference in those three choices is what the value of the exponent is on the 10. So we begin with this number, and sometimes it's easier to write where we can organize our zeros in threes, and we can see that we would move that decimal point nine spots to the right, making 5.72 times 10 to the negative nine, answer choice B, the correct choice here.